Time will always pass, the present will always become the past, and the future will always become the present. Because of this, it will always be the duty of the old generation to pass the torch on to the next generation. Whether it's wills, ideals, responsibilities, sins, or even the world itself, the previous generation will pass something on to the next. 13 Sentinels is a game that explores this concept heavily throughout its story, with it being one of the central themes. 13 Sentinels focuses on 13 different Japanese teenagers living in 80s Japan who have to defend the world from kaiju by using giant mechas called Sentinels. However, it is revealed throughout the game that these 13 teenagers are actually clones of the last survivors of humanity who have been living in a virtual reality meant to train them for the new Earth. The virtual reality, of course, went wrong, and kaiju attacked, nearly killing them all. However, they were able to overcome this challenge and obtain their futures. The theme of passing of the torch is very apparent in the relationships and perils between the 13 protagonists and their original selves. They not only inherit the legacies of their original versions, but also the legacy of old humanity it is now their responsibility to start a new world. Ryoko inherited the original Ryoko Shimano's research, and she uses this to help restore humanity. Katero and Natsuno inherited the same love for each other as their original selves, symbolized by the skill Now, Natsuno-san! They create a stronger attack when they fight together. Jiro Karabe inherited the original Jiro Izumi's promise to protect Megumi, as he puts his life on the line multiple times to save her. Lastly, Takatoshi inherited the original Takatoshi Hijiyama's dying wish to protect all his friends, symbolized by Sentinel's heavy focus on defense and his unique install, Defense Mode. It is not only legacies that the 13 children inherit from their original selves, but their sins as well. However, unlike their original selves, they are able to go beyond these sins and redeem their original versions. The original Ryoko Shiminome had her heart broken and gave in to despair as she was the one who sabotaged the virtual reality in hopes of ending humanity. Ryoko ends up experiencing her own heartbreak, but is able to go beyond that pain and gain the strength to overcome despair. The original Jiro Izumi and Takatoshi both made great mistakes that cost them the lives of their friends that they were supposed to protect, but clone Jiro and Takatoshi managed to keep true to their promises in protecting everyone by fighting against the impossible. The original Nenji Ogata and Renya Goto were both selfish and cruel men. Our Nenji and Renya, however, became better, kinder men than their original selves. Cruel assassin Eiseki Gaara from the year 2188 was the man that killed Professor Chirimura out of a twisted sense of justice. His clone A, however, became the lover of Professor Morimura's clone, Ayuri Furukasaka, and vows to protect her, saving her life multiple times and choosing to fight in the final battle against the kaiju instead of running away. Professor Morimura was the one responsible for the nano outbreak that killed off most of the humanity. The clone Iori Fukusaka makes a vow to protect everyone, her sentinel and skills being evident of this vow, with their strengths and focus being in protecting others. The original Tetsuya of 2188 was a cruel playboy and cared for nobody but himself and his goals. It was his disgusting playboy nature that broke the original Ryokushima's heart and drove her to despair. His clone Shu Amaguchi inherited the playboy nature. However, Shu is able to go beyond his original self, with his playboy nature evolving into true chivalry and compassion, symbolizing his confrontation with the previous Ida clone, Mr. Ida. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me! I'd never use a girl as some tool! <sighs> One major flaw among many of the adult characters in 13 Sentinels is their refusal to pass the torch. Miss Morimura, the clone of Professor Morimura before Ayori, tried to escape back to her own past by trying to turn Ayori into herself and turning Jiro Karabe into her version of Jiro Izumi, aka 426. She refused to entrust the future to the next generation and instead selfishly tried to return to the nostalgia of the past. Then there is Mr. Ida, who also tried to return to the past. He attempted to reset the virtual reality in hopes of being reunited with the girl he loved, and even tried to sabotage the next generation in pursuit of this goal. He was so obsessed with returning to his nostalgic past that he was willing to take away the next generation's future for the sake of his own selfish desires. Worst of all, there was Kengo Ogata, a man so obsessed with staying alive he tried to destroy everyone's legacies. He had Professor Morimori bring him back as an AI after his death and then manipulated her into starting the chain of events that destroyed humanity, also that he could keep the Project Ark going in order to come back to life. He even planned to destroy his son's legacies and his own legacy by stealing the clone body of his son as part of his twisted resurrection plan. Kengo did not care about the next generation or legacies, and so he would willingly destroy just to stay alive, which is why he ultimately failed and could never reclaim the warmth of life he craved. There were two adults, however, who learned to have faith in the next generation. Professor Morimura placed her consciousness in a spare clone of herself, 
This clone became the little sister of Kaitero, known as Shihiro. She did this because she did not have faith in the next generation and believed they would need her to lead them. However, she would later go on to make a bet with Renya that if he and the other 12 overcame the kaiju attacks, she would accept that they did not need her leadership and would entrust the world to them. Thanks to Renya's bold actions, she came to admire the next generation and learned to believe in them. Most importantly, there is 426 Jiro Izumi, aka Kyu Toshiba, aka Fluffy. He at first lacked faith in the next generation, attempting to kill all 13 of the kids in one loop in an attempt to stop the kaiju. He was desperate to preserve the present, but failed. This failure made him realize that he has to put his faith in the next generation and entrust the world to them. Even the playing field against the kaiju so the 13 would have the chance to defeat them and worked hard to get everything ready for the 13 to leave the virtual reality. He gave the next generation the chance to grasp the future. He even stopped Miss Moria's plan to escape to her past at the expense of Jiro Karabe and Ayori Fukusaka. 426 knew the truth, that you can't return to the past and that the old generation can't watch over the next generation forever. The world is always changing, and eventually the next generation must walk on their own feet if they are truly to lead the world. The best the old generation can do, except when it is time to entrust the world to the next generation and have faith in them. Self may be gone, but I do remember what it was about. And as long as you have my memories, I don't need to explain a thing, do I? Are you really okay with this? Of course not. I want in on the action too. And yet, you're entrusting it all to me. Even though they kind of turned you into a sissy, in the end, you're still Juro, just like me. I've accepted it. We've all got to play with the hands we're dealt. Fuyusaka's not going to be able to handle him alone. Go for it, Juro. What's going to happen to you? Piloting a Sentinel takes a hell of a lot of brain power. If your nano machines are focused on that, there won't be much processing power left. In other words, I won't be able to talk to you anymore. But you've got my memories, right? You know what needs to be done. The rest is up to you. You're right. I'll do it. I guess I'll be going then. Right. Put your game face on, Juro. We've taken turns for the last time. Try not to get a game over. Sentinel number 13, activate. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. And if you're interested in seeing more content from me, please subscribe. Have a nice day.